If you love coffee and you love containers, then you are going to love this video. So we had the opportunity of building a 10-foot shipping container pop-up coffee shop for a client in central Nevada. Uh, he has a space where he does concerts. And so this is really a pop-up kind of like vending booth where he can sell drinks, coffee, soda, whatever he wants out of this space. And the way we did it is we actually took a 40-foot shipping container, cut it down to 30 feet, and out of that we created a 30-foot tiny home and a 10-foot coffee shop. Now the 10-foot coffee shop actually has two pop-out windows. This is our first time doing hydraulic windows using the gas struts so that basically you just push them open and they'll self-open and almost become an awning as well. Um, and this was trial and error. We ended up buying a lot of gas struts that weren't, weren't strong enough to actually support our window. So after buying maybe five or 10 different versions, we finally got some, they were 190 pound gas struts and they were strong enough to support the steel frame with the container corrugation. Uh, for those of you that might be looking to do this in the future yourself, I would recommend those pop-out windows using a lighter material. We should have used a light gauge metal instead of a heavy corrugated steel. Um, but you, you do it, you learn, and now you know how to improvise for the future. Uh, this right? unit in particular had a great exterior color with like a almost like a deep light blue, almost like a grayish blue. Uh, so really like how that turned out. Then on the interior, we actually sprayed the interior of this container with a ceramic insulated paint. So majority of the interior is raw, and you might think, man, this is gonna become a hot box. This is a shipping container. If it's a hot summer day, isn't it just gonna heat up and be really hot inside? But the reality is, is this paint is really unique. And so they use it in a lot of industrial applications where there's metal cisterns that are maybe heating something up really hot. They'll spray the exterior of those with this product and it doesn't allow the heat to transfer. So you can actually touch something that has something boiling on the inside and, and it's, it's not even hot at all to the touch. This same product applied to the interior of a container now actually functions as a heat barrier. So even though the container might be 150 degrees on the outside, on the inside of the container, it stops that heat completely. So this product really is cool. It's got an R value equivalent of 10.5. So it really does function like an insulation as well. On the left side of this container, we did a build out. It was uh, a really unique accent wall. And so we have Moroccan tile at the bottom, and then we cut a bunch of plywood into one inch strips and put one inch spacing between them, uh, attach them to that top half, and really just created a really nice black accent wall. Uh, we have a couple nice shelves there as well as some lights also. Now when it comes to countertop space, throughout the whole interior, we did a build out. We fabricated our own steel legs and went with a butcher block countertop just giving them plenty of space to be able to put their cash register, their cups, their coffee machines, things like that. We have the outlets in the space as well. And then on the exterior, we have two exterior bar tops. So this is a good place where people just kind of hang out. Uh, maybe that is where they want to process payments or just hang out, enjoy the venue, and enjoy their cup of coffee. Lastly, when it came to the container floors, we actually reutilized the original container floors. So this was a one-trip shipping container. Uh, you'll notice very minimal dents on the exterior. And because it was a one trip unit, the original floors were actually really nice. So instead of spending money to add all new flooring and put baseboard and different things like that in the unit, uh, we just used the original container floor. And then for the entry to the space, we just used the original container doors. These were all ways that we were able to keep the cost down on this conversion. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of our 10 foot shipping container coffee shop. Uh, for more information on our products, you can check us out online. And for those of you that are looking to do your own DIY build, maybe you want to do your own coffee shop, go ahead and click the link in the description below for a free training that we put together, basically teaching you our biggest lessons after building a hundred container homes. Um, and with that, don't forget to subscribe. We have more content like this coming to you, more tours and more DIY content to teach you how to build your own container home.